Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to do something pretty cool in Minecraft VR. You can do this on the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Go. We're going to use the Oculus Quest. I'm going to show you how you can install custom texture packs, additional texture packs, and custom skins for Minecraft VR. Let's check this out. If you don't know how to get Minecraft VR onto your Quest or your Go, I have a link in the video description that will to a tutorial that will show you how to do that. Go check that out and then come back and watch the rest of this. Go ahead and launch Minecraft from your unknown sources. All right, you can see I'm signed in to my Xbox account. Go to settings. Now you can see I have the Chroma Hills texture pack applied. Now one real quick way of getting this done is you just go to the marketplace and you can buy or there are some for free. You can get them here. And these are the ones that I have. They are texture packs and maps that I got from the store. Right now I'll show you Chroma Hills, it's really nice. All right, let's go 3D here. So this is the Chroma, Hero, the, this is the Chroma Hills texture pack. Let's check out this chicken. It's trying to run away from me. Hey chicken. Check out the leaves on the tree. Leaves on the tree definitely look really cool. They're definitely different than the standard ones, standard textures. And we want to change the weather to something clear, right? We want clear weather. Changing to clear weather. Check out the pig. Check out this pig. The pig is looking a lot different than normal because it's using the Chroma Hills texture pack, which is a very, very complete texture pack. And look at the dirt. Look at how detailed the dirt blocks look. Look at these cows. The cows just look like they are cows with people's eyes, with eyes of real people on them. And you can see things like the flowers look very nice. Very nice looking flowers. Check out the sheep. The sheep look pretty curious. Hey sheep, you kind of actually look scary. What about this one? They kind of look angry. All right, let's see what else do we got here. There's an iron golem. What does he look like? Ooh, he looks pretty cool. Looks like he has an oven built into him. Hey iron golem, what's up? Oh, that's right, you're here to protect the villagers. The villagers look normal, though, for some reason. New kitty cat. Cats look different, for sure. They look more detailed. They definitely look cool. The wood looks more detailed. You can see how that looks. Very different. The stone looks nice and detailed, very smooth. Look at that door. Look how detailed this door is. But you don't have to get texture packs that are so detailed. There are some texture packs that are lower resolution that look really nice. Look at these windows, look at the metal bars on the windows. Look at the torches. Torch definitely looks cool with this texture pack. These are apparently beets, it looks like. Yeah, this is a really nice texture pack, guys. And to be able to get these things in virtual reality is really cool. It's really fun to do. The horses look the same to me. Check out the cactus. The cactus looks definitely cool, for sure. Don't get hurt. Oh, that's right, I'm not in. I'm in creative mode, so I'm fine. Yeah, that's a cool looking cactus for sure. Check out these blocks over here. They look really nice. Such a cool texture pack. But as you're gonna see, there's a lot of different texture packs and some that are low resolution that look amazing still. These turtles look kind of weird with this texture pack for some reason. Maybe, oh yeah, there's some kind of glitch right now. There's some kind of bug in Minecraft with high definition texture packs for the mobile. And they are aware of it and they are working on it. And this might be what we're seeing. But aside from this, these guys are really detailed. Look at them. Wow, they look so good. They look so good. Wow, this is an interesting, what is this? Are these pillagers? I read about you guys. Arg. Can't forget the llamas. Oh my goodness, look how, look how cute these llamas are. Oh, you are such a cute llama. And your baby. Oh, hi baby llama. You are so cute. Yes, you're cute. But if I hit the llamas, whoops. Oh, she's gonna spit at me. Or not. Maybe I have to be in survival for them to spit at me. Wow, this is interesting. All this different colored landscape. Oh, it's snowing. Ooh, yeah. Man, Minecraft is so much fun in VR. Plus, with custom texture packs, it is even better. So much creativity. Another way you can see what a custom pack will do, a custom texture pack, is just go to your inventory and you can see how things look different. They're more detailed. So here we are in the marketplace. Click on my packs. 
Actually, if we go to settings and go down to global resources, the ones with uh, an unlock next to them are the ones that you've purchased or got for free in the market. But if they're custom ones, they don't have a lock next to them. They're completely custom and you've loaded them directly from your device. Like all these ones, like check out Retro NES. It's Retro NES. At least one of your resource or behavior packs failed to load. Press T, return, or controller D-pad right to open chat. All right, something failed to load. But check out this texture pack. This is a uh, low resolution one, but it looks really cool. Check this out. It's reminiscent of Nintendo, of old school Nintendo. Like the blocks look kind of like Mario Brother-ish, Mario Brother-esque. And look at the sky. Sky looks pretty cool. If you guys have never tried a custom texture pack or a non-default texture pack in Minecraft, especially Minecraft VR, I highly recommend it. It's like m making it almost like a different game or a new game. And with custom packs, we can do it for free. You don't have to do it on the market, but there are some that are free on the market and there's some that are definitely worth buying on the market and you can purchase them without any problem and apply them. Man, this is so cool, guys. This is, this is just really fun. I don't know if I've tried this one yet. Let's try it, see what it looks like. I'm waiting for it to load. I'm waiting. Don't kill dolphins, you monster. Okay, well, for some reason, the skin just hangs right here. It's, it's acting like it's loading. Um, I don't know how long I would have to wait. I'm not sure it's actually going to load. So I'm going to exit out of Minecraft and change the skin. Hey, let's change to a different skin. Sometimes it happens. It says no errors were found, but it's not working for me. Okay, I haven't tried this one yet. Let's check it out. Maybe it's not a problem with the pack. Maybe it's a problem with the map. At least one of your resources. Press T, return. Press T, return, or controller D-pad right to open chat. D-pad right. Let's change the weather to clear. Changing to clear weather. You can see the blocks look different. Not all texture packs replace all blocks. Some of them only replace some. And you can stack texture packs as well. Like maybe there's a texture pack just for animals, and then there's a texture pack maybe just for grass or vegetation. And you can stack them so that both of them apply. Just flying through the world, looking for things to, looking for animals. You can even get ones with shaders. I think this one might have a shader built in. Some of them will even change the sun and the moon. Ooh, this one's definitely changed the clouds. Change some of the underground bricks for sure. Ooh, this is an interesting place. Bunnies. I don't see a whole lot of difference with this texture pack. Let's try a different one. Beyond the Lands, I don't think I've tried this one yet. You can get like medieval texture packs and all kinds of different themes. It is so cool. At least press T, return, or controller D-pad right to open chat. So I changed the way the door looks. Cactus. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to beat you. I thought I could interact with you like, wait, what? I can't interact? Why not? Maybe you can only interact if you're in Survival? This guy looks totally different. He looks cool for sure. Donkeys. Try this one called Triton Texture Pack. And this one is the 64 by 64, I think. It's 64. I think that's the resolution. Sometimes the VR one can handle the 128. Sometimes it crashes. At least one. All right, check this out. Look at how the grass looks different. It looks so cool. Like that wasn't changed, but this has changed. This robot is sick. Oh my goodness, he is so cool looking. Look at that guy. Well, he looks like a robot. He is an iron golem. But now he's the iron giant. Look at this, it looks so nice. I do think I can get the 128 version to load on here. I have it installed, I think it works. It's a sheep. The bamboo looks very different. So many of the blocks are so much more detailed, so much smoother. Animals look more cartoonish. Look at these flowers. Here's the cactus. Cacti, the hay definitely looks different. I think there's a cartoon version on here that I downloaded. Let's see. Let's try Zendercraft. It's an HD one. I don't know if it's gonna work. Press T, return, or controller D pad right to open chat. And as you see, it's really changed quite a bit. It's changed so many blocks. Look at the grass looks so different. It looks so different. Wow. The vines look different. Chicken looks. Like you use a scan of an actual chicken mapped onto a Minecraft chicken. That's hilarious. 
What did they do to this iron golem? That is pretty funny. They gave him a jack-o'-lantern head on this texture pack. This looks pretty cool. The horses definitely look different. See, texture packs can do such dramatic changes on your game. Door looks so cool. That is a cool looking door. Look at this plant. That looks really cool. That looks sick. You can see the soil inside there. Also, if you want to change to a custom skin, like I downloaded a skin, you just click up here, choose new skin, and then yeah, you use this, your controller. I think it'll be in downloads. It's right here, Wally West Rebirth. They both look right to me. They look exactly the same. So all right, there I am, I'm Wally West. I'm the Flash. So now, bam, I'm the Flash. And it's just that easy. Okay, we're gonna fire up Oculus TV and then go ahead and fire up. Um, I'm gonna use Chrome, so I would recommend sideloading Chrome. I've just launched Chrome from App Starter. So I actually originally just searched for Minecraft texture packs or MCPE, which just stands for Minecraft Pocket Edition texture, craft, uh, texture packs. And I came to this website. This is probably just one of many websites that you can get these at. Um, you can browse the texture packs. Here is a medieval texture pack. Let's check it out. Scroll down to, and it shows you the pictures. If you like what you see, you can go for it. If not, you can back out, click on it, click on download. You see it's downloading. And now you can go in to your downloads and see right here. If you click it from here, it often will launch Minecraft and it'll import it. And if you don't see, if it stays black, you can hear two, you can hear two like beep sounds. So you actually loaded. Now import started. Failed to import. Why did it fail? It'll tell you if it failed or not, and apparently this one failed. You can exit back out of Minecraft. Go back to go back to Chrome. Here is a photorealism one, it claims. I'm gonna do this. I hold it down, I say open a new tab. That's what I like to do. Look how nice this one looks. Very nice. I'm excited to try this one. Now it has different resolutions. Now it should, the Quest should definitely be able to handle 64. It might be able to handle 128. I don't imagine it would ever be able to handle 256. And these are .mc pack files, so they're automatically associated with the game Minecraft. This one's downloading. Now we'll try the 128. Now we'll try the 256. Click on downloads to see what we have. All right, well, let's try the uh, 64 version. If it says this, tell it to open with Minecraft. Say always. You might have to wait 30 seconds or so, maybe even up to a minute. Import started. Successfully imported. All right, let's check it out. Let's switch to the one we just installed. Photorealistic. Press T, return, or controller D pad. So here's the uh, 64 version of the photorealistic one that we just installed. No difference to the sheep, apparently. It's wood, trees. Oh, here's some different textures. That's pretty cool. Even more, some kind of dirt textures. The vines here are different for sure. Going back to Chrome. So that's how to open, download and open texture packs from Minecraft. Here's a website I found for skins, and this is where I downloaded the Wally West Rebirth skin. This is just one example. There's a lot of different sites for skins. Your skin is just a PNG file. This is an interesting looking skin. Click on download, it just downloads it, that's it. But this one we have to open from within Minecraft. Keep looking for some more, a few more skins here. Ooh, check this out, Spider-Man suit skin pack. Let's check this one out. Looks pretty cool for sure, definitely looks cool. Oh, this one is in the form of an MC pack. That's nice, we'll click on that. Click on download, it's downloading. And we can directly open this one, so we'll do that. Minecraft, always. Import started for the Spider-Man skins. Successful. All right, let's check them out. I'm gonna go right here. Where are the Spider-Man skins that I just installed? All right, that Spider-Man skin I can't find anywhere, but I wanted to play this texture pack. I don't remember playing it before. It says it's two times the resolution. Let's check this out. Yeah, it definitely looks cool. I can see there's a, definitely a different in, difference in the way these blocks look, for sure. They look kind of comical, but still very nice. These look pretty cool, check that out. 
Those are some really cool patterns and colors for sure. Same for the sand. Sand has a similar pattern. Cactus looks pretty cool. That's definitely different. The dirt looks different. Yeah, man, you can really get some really nice looking texture packs for free. There's nice ones in the store for sure, but they're mostly not free. Look at these. That looks so nice. That looks so cool. What a great job they did on this one. This is an interesting thing to see. Two cows merged into each other. Okay. Well, sadly, this pack may not be compatible with Minecraft VR. That's too bad. It looked really cool. Yeah, these people are saying it doesn't work. So, when you go custom, sometimes you run into issues. Here's a funny skin pack to make you look like a toy creeper. Let's try it out. Oh, and see, you can just download the PNG files directly. So, let's say you want it to be green. Say download image. Want to be yellow. Be white. See if we can download a few more skins. Strike Force skin pack. Let's check this one out. Looks interesting. Got to be careful though. Sometimes they have these horrible download sites that give you a few ads. Not all of them are like that. All right, download. It's an MC pack. We're just going to click open and it will open up Minecraft VR and automatically try to import it. Import started. Let's be successful. Successfully imported Strike Force skin pack. All right. Oh, so let's go to settings. Let's change our. Let's see if we can change our skin now. There we go. Strike Strike Force skin pack. Look at that. Bam. And you've just changed your skin for free. Ocelots show creepers who's boss. I didn't know that. That's good to learn. Oh yeah, check out this texture pack. This is a different texture pack. Man, this is a cool texture pack, and it's like a low resolution texture pack. But so what? It looks great. Man, this is really, really cool. It just adds a whole different feeling. A very clean feeling, too, though, to Minecraft VR. When you're playing something like this, and you look around, and you see all the colors, and you see all the grids, it feels so different. You can do so many things with different texture packs in Minecraft. Yeah, check out these trees. These trees just look so cool. What do the cows look like? Any different? Yeah, they're pretty basic cows. They're definitely different. Hey, cowy cow. The flowers are all super, super low res. Yeah, everything's low res, but it works. It's really cool. Door is low res. The vines, check those out. That looks really good. The mushrooms, yep. Oh man, this looks really good. Really clean, too. The snow is all low res, but, but again, it looks really good. Here's a cool mushroom. That's a pretty tall mushroom, actually. It's almost as tall as a tree. The leaves don't necessarily look that low resolution, although they do look different. This looks cool, for sure. Very cool. Another low resolution textured village. It looks really nice though, it looks really clean. Almost gives you a sense of a miniature, some kind of miniature model. Repair and disenchant? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Here's the low res iron golem. He looks pretty cool for sure. This house with the tulips it looks like. Low res pigs. You're nothing but a low-res pig. Got the, got the chest, low-res chest. It looks super clean though. Low-res items all over. Low-res torches, no, no doubt. All right, guys. You can spend a lot of time looking for really cool and playing with really cool textures, really cool texture packs for Minecraft, and really cool skins. So go crazy. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, share, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.